appreciate it very much. And I want to thank the American people for their tremendous support. Millions and millions of people voted for us tonight. And uh, a very sad group of people is trying to disenfranchise that group of people. And we won't stand for it. We will yeah. not stand for it. the First Lady, my entire family, and Vice President Pence, Mrs. Pence, for being with us, all three of us. And we were getting ready for a big celebration. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden it was just called off. The results tonight have been phenomenal, and we are getting ready to be set to Get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful, so beautiful. <laughs> such a vote, such a success. This is a success. This country have come out in record numbers. This is a record. There's never been anything like it. To support our incredible movement, we won states that we weren't expected to win. Florida, we didn't win it. We won it by a lot. The great state of Ohio. We won Texas. We won Texas. We won Texas by 700,000 votes, and they don't even include it in the tabulations. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. We're up by. 2.5 percent, or 117,000 votes, with only 7 percent left. They're never going to catch us. They can't catch us. Likewise, we've clearly won North Carolina. Where we're up 1.4 percent, or 77,000 votes, with only 175 percent left. They can't catch us. We also, uh, if you look and you see. Arizona, we have a lot of life in that, and somebody said, somebody declared that it was a victory, for, and maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible, but certainly there were a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're not just coming into what they call Trump territory. I don't know what you call it, but these were friendly Trump voters, and that could be overturned. The gentleman that called it, I watched tonight. He said, well, we think it's fairly unlikely that he could catch. Well, fairly unlikely. And we don't even need it. We don't need it. That. that was just a state that if we would have gotten it, it would have been nice, Arizona. But there's a possibility, maybe even a good possibility. In fact, since I saw that originally, it's been changed, and the numbers have substantially come down a small amount of votes. So we want that, obviously, to stay in play. But most importantly, we're winning Pennsylvania. We're winning Pennsylvania. We're we're up 600 thousand votes in Pennsylvania. 690,000. These aren't even close. It's not like, oh, it's close. With 64% of the vote in, it's going to be almost impossible to catch. And we're coming into good Pennsylvania areas where they happen to like your president. <laughs> so we'll probably expand that. Uh, we are winning Michigan. I said, whoa. I looked, I said, whoa. I looked, I said, almost 300,000 votes. And... 65% of the vote is And we're winning Wisconsin, and so we're winning. We don't need all of them. Because when you add Texas in, which wasn't added, I spoke with the really wonderful 
我们获得了百分之六十五的选票，目前开出来的。我们甚至不需要所有的选票。Can you just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight. And then we won states and all of a sudden and we have all these announcers saying what happened and then they said oh, oh. Because you know, 我们的这个晚上真的是赢得非常漂亮，因为我拿下了几个非常关键的州。大家可以看看我们赢得这个差距，都是非常巨大的。当我们看到这样子的选举结果的时候，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，